<laughs> okay. A lot of speculation, talky walkies and all stuff like that about Dark Fate. Me, I believe the story, as much as it's going to change over to Danny Ramos, you know, the baton's getting changed over, it's going to be mainly based on Sarah Connor and her story. <clears throat> um, I was watching a video that Grindhouse Grotto did earlier, and... Um, He's done it about the Terminator 3D. Basically, the, the there used to be a ride, and Terminator there was a Terminator video on that, and he was speculating whether it's going to be canon or not. <laughs> Link to his video down below. But what what it made me think of is how mental is Sarah Connor going to be? I mean, if you think about all the scenes in Terminator 2 where she. Um, once she's in the mental hospital and you can tell she's a bit ragged, you know, she gets refused seeing her son. You know, please, I just need to make a phone call. And um, Dr. Suberman's like, I recommend you stay here six months. And she bounces over the table. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bounces over the table, goes nuts. And then when she's broke out, come with me, I want to live. And she escapes after the T-1000 chases them down. She then goes to try and pop Miles Dyson. And there's scene after scene after scene where if it wasn't for her son, John, going, Mom, you know, chill there, no. She'd go a bit cuckoo, you know what I mean? She'd proper kick off and have her hands around your throat. And this is what excites me about her character now. Because I can near enough guarantee that Apart from a scene, probably a memory scene, or the disappearance of John, John Connor isn't in this movie. And if he is, not for long. No, I mean not for long at all. Jude Colley's playing a part, that's it. He's hardly even mentioned, so, you know, he's not going to be in it long. He's going to do the CGI section for his either vanishing or his assassination for the movie, so it can pass on to the next leader of the Resistance. So without having John there, to keep her in line, she's going to be one crazy mofo. Do you get where I'm going? I'm, I'm proper looking forward to how nuts she is going to be. So, that's just a little thought anyway. You know what I'm like. If you know what I'm like, if you're a subscriber, you know what I'm like. I come up with my thoughts, I'll let you know, and then I ask you to comment below if you agree or what you reckon. So, let me know in the comments below. And as you may notice, feeling good today. I'm in a better mood. Um, I've been ill the last couple of days, but we're getting there. Feeling number 8 out of 10 today, so that's all good. So, I'll do what I always forget to do. Please, 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 if you're not a subscriber, help me out. Subscribe, let's make this channel grow. If I don't do a video before the weekend, I'll see you on the live session. We're doing live Saturday night, 7pm UK time. Live Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. UK time. They're going well. More and more people are joining in. The conversations are good. Let me know what you think about the Sarah Connor, how nuts she's going to be, because John isn't there to wind her in. This is Upside Down 6.